that I'm never like quirky with form at all, but I was like, I'm just going to do a Facebook chat conversation, which like, doesn't even happen anymore. Like, I don't even use Facebook chat. But anyway. <laughs> okay. Aisha. I miss you, man. I want to chat boys, politics, and feminism with you. Not necessarily in that order. You good? Eyebrow bar, Selwyn Walk. Can't find the page. <laughs> you too can be the girl who gets her eyebrows done on Saturdays. I like to make sure my conversations pass the Bechdel test. But on Tuesdays, we talk about boys. She tells me how first experiences shape the decisions we make, are making, with boys we barely know but want to. I think back to mine, don't divulge. So that explains it, does it? That explains it all. To be woman. <clears throat> Dance sporadically. <laughs> Always in full view silently with nothing on. Pick a quiet corner in view of the DJ and his decks. Dance so wildly, people dare not approach. And when they do, you are fire and brimstone. Limbs not soft enough for them to carry limply to their beds. And I also did a blackout poem in my selection in the She Grows Anthology, edited by Carmina over there. Um, and um, so basically um, what that is, is that you take a, a thing that already exists, so it can be a newspaper article or prose or a poem, and you just cross out all the bits that you don't want in order to make a new piece. So this comes from, was that like a good art or like a, I was like, is that like, oh, that's cool. Or like, oh, what have you done? You've destroyed something. I couldn't work it out. <laughs> um, so this is from um, Miranda July's No One Belongs Here More Than You, which is an amazing collection of short stories. I could be candlelight, with subtle second eyes, re-thrown across day. When messy, I was easy to love. So used to not loving another, I showed her the taste of being frozen. Life is to be open again and again.